Joe Biden says yes to re-election proposal. He's been questioned on countless occasions if he will run for office come 2024. This is on the pretext that he will run for the United States of America commander-in-chief for the upcoming elections. It's my intention, is his typical answer. But this evening, on the day before he is anticipated to officially declare, Joe Biden established that plan to Sky News. Are you going to run again, sir? The Sky reporter inquired in the Rose Garden as he departed into the Oval Office. It's been the most anticipated statement in Washington, D.C. He looks to have dispersed the self-inflicted obstacle, his nuclear family's endorsement. Joe Biden said and I quote I'll admit I was skeptical. I had wondered if First Lady Jill Biden would tell him enough. He would, after all, be 82 at the time of re-election and 86 at the end of the next term. Previously all that, he will want to ride out the unexpected force of the voting sequence. It's fragmented runners half his age. For Republicans, his age is a dominant assault fact. For Democrats, it's a candid unease, but it's an enormous benefit too. His followers refer to his capability. He has unbelievably varying experience than any other serving official in politics in the nation by virtue, basically, of his age and wisdom. Additionally, there is his proven track record which is evidential. He knocked out Donald Trump in 2020 election. It is conceivable, even possible, that Trump is his opposition given the Republican Party's obsession to him. The speculation is that Trump cannot have gotten backing and support throughout the past two years given his indictment and all in between the periods. Joe Biden's team anticipates a rerun would give him the golden ticket to the White House for his second term. But the up-to-date polls tells alternative story. Regarding a new NBC poll, just one in four Americans favor the decision to secure another term in office. Republican ticket Donald Trump is also fighting his battles in all his current issues to secure a win. Trump has been through tough times with his indictment, impeachment processes, classified docs, payment to a porn star, January 6th incident, rigging of his election by the Russians and a whole parody of issues against Trump. This puts him and his fans in a dire situation. The question is does he have the mojo to win this coming election? Does Republicans have confidence in him to run for office in 2024? Does he have the moral right to run for office? Does he have the legal right to run for office? Does he have what it takes to be a leader and the commander-in-chief of the United States of America? He seems prepared and ready to run this campaign. Does his opinion polls suggest he is the chosen one or there are some unbelievable doubts? These are questions to be answered. Biden has also major questions by the Democrats and Republicans. This is to do with his age. Is he healthy enough to run for office in 2024? Why is he not retiring to have some quality time with his family at his age? Is he intellectually sound to be the commander-in-chief of the United States of America? Is he physically fit to lead America with all his goofing and tripping? These are some tough questions to be answered. Is the opinion polls suggesting otherwise? After months of speculation, the US President Joe Biden has confirmed to Sky News that he will stand for re-election next year. An official announcement is expected tomorrow. Let's get more from our US correspondent Mark Stone at the White House. It must be the most anticipated announcement in Washington uh, for, for quite some time. Will he, won't he? The speculation has been that he wants to seek uh, a second term, that he wants to run again. He said before Christmas that he would, uh, count, he would get the counsel of his own family. He would ask his wife, Jill Biden, the first lady, whether or not she believed he should run again. Of course, against him at his age. He's 80 years old. He would be 82 at, time, at the time of re-election. Uh, and he would be near a 90 at the end of the second term if he was to be uh, successful. He'll be aware of the polls, too. Just one in four Americans believe that he should run again, according to the latest NBC polling. Uh, but I was in the Rose Garden just now at an event uh, for teachers, for education, something close to his heart and, to, indeed, to his wife's heart. She is a teacher. Uh, and I asked him, just as he headed back into the uh, Oval Office, uh, will you run again? Have a listen. Were you going to run again, sir? Sir, 
you might need to be a lip reader, um, but I can assure you he said yes. One word. Uh, are you going to run again, sir? And his re reply quite clearly, uh, yes. Uh, which to me uh, is a change from just what he was saying moments earlier when he said, I've told you before my intention is uh, to run again. Um, so uh, we will find out for sure probably tomorrow, certainly this week. The expectation is that a, uh, it will be in the form of a video release. We understand that some of it was, was filmed uh, quite recently, uh, 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 putting together a video release that will be very similar to the one that we saw four years ago uh, when he sought the presidency for the first time around. Uh, I imagine, or certainly our understanding, is that uh, much of the messaging uh, will, be, uh, will be the same. It will be a battle for the soul of the nation, as he, as he has called it so many times before. Uh, and uh, he will, uh, it, we, we understand, say that he wants to get the job done, to finish the job that he has uh, spent the past four years doing. But as I say, his approval rating is not good.